Okay, so welcome everybody. Uh, we're going to jump into playing some Flotsam. Apologies. Uh, Flotsam is basically a survival at sea game. Uh, it's made by the games uh, Pajama Llama Gaming. Uh, they came up with a new update, experimental update, which I'm running at the moment, a couple of weeks back. And uh, yeah, we're going to jump into to some and play some. We do we do stream on Twitch. This is where we're streaming right now. So this is gameplay you're watching from the stream. Uh, so if you have enjoyed the video, feel free to uh, jump over and hit the follow button on Twitch. So we're going to start off a new game. We're going to pick our pick our community, if you like. Our starting, so you can see we've got different stats. Uh, Pre-flood, post-flood, the whole world's flooded. Um, and this is how life now is. So we've got Crafter and Fisher, plus 10, plus 10 there. That's good. We'll re-roll this person. Construction and cooking. Oh, we might keep that one. Athletics. So all these will have an effect on the uh, on the play on the uh, community come the end of it. So let's just have a look. We got construction, cooking. Let's re-roll. Nordics. Desalination. Do you know what? We'll go with that. Scrap big. We will call it. Um. Oddville. No. Odd. SS. Odd ship. There we go. Start our adventure. Okay, so this is the boat, township, the home, whatever you want to call it. Um, I do like the art style on the uh, in the game. So you can see SS Odd Ship. So we want to start off with collecting all this plastic. So we're going to send our survivors to go out and collect this plastic. You want to be collecting plastic, wood, any scrap that you can find. You're going to then repurpose and upcycle or recycle into making your, your boat, which is now your home, a better place. So with that, across the bottom then, we've got our workshop. We've got multiple different... Construction options. I always tend to go for a walkway. So we'll wait until we've got lots of plastic. And then we'll build a long walkway. To kind of make the most of our space that we have available to us. And then we've also got a small storage yard. Beds for all our survivors to sleep in. Research station and watchtower. Then we have a drying rack. Because all the wood is going to be wet. So we need to dry it before we can do anything with it. Plastic recycler which recycles raw plastic into floaters. We then got a wood shed, uh, chops wood into planks or firewood. Rope crafter makes rope out of seaweed. And a scrap, uh, scrap smith, scrap your metal scraps into metal plates, which we need for construction. We then have a desalinator, removes the salt from the water, gives us drinking water, chop shop, so that allows us to uh, craft food. And then we have our electrical poles to supply energy to different areas excuse me right so what we will do we'll build our walkway because i can see down in the bottom there our inventory is becoming full so across the top we've got our wet wood our dry wood our plastic waste which is our raw plastic our metal scrap raw seaweed wooden planks floaters metal plate rope and firewood then we have our water reserves and our food um this is one of the new things that has been added is um weight so the, the bigger your town or your your boat becomes um the more you're building onto it the, the heavier it becomes um we got a hand crank so for our boat we can power it someone just goes on there cranking 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 um if we do run out of power Okay, so there's our, we can speed this up a little bit just to get it done quicker. Okay, so that's all done. Next, we are going to build a plastic recycler right out here. Build it as far out as we can to uh, try and maximize it. We will speed this back up again. There we go. That's all the plastic now collected. Can we build... No, we need some floaters. There we go. So we're also going to build a storage 
unit right there allows us to increase our storage because the boat can only hold so much so we need to uh, build some storage units right and now we'll start crafting some plastic floaters brilliant 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 okay so we can only send our guys out so far within this circle so because of that we're gonna have to move so we'll jump to the map this is where we are right now so you can see there's a few islands and little things around us this is where we're gonna um salvage and find bits that we can't find floating in the water so wooden ship polluted wood I, we will move to this area first move the boat we also have some fish here we can build a fishing boat and uh, go out and catch the fish we could do with wood so hopefully there's some wood on this island so let's have a look this is our little we got wood there so we'll send the guys out to go and collect all that and then over here we have seaweed so we'll go and collect that but yeah how's everybody's day going hope it's going good Okay, so they're just going to swim back and forth and go and collect all that up. And um, then with that, we shall have a few more supplies. So we've got some wood now. We, they've collect, yeah, they've collected all the wood from the island. So we now have 15 pieces of dry wood, which allows us to build a drying rack plastic recycler and a woodshed so i'm gonna go with drying rack and we're gonna build that right up here um then we're gonna go with the woodshed um, i like to keep things working areas you know all close together so we'll get that up we need the drying rack because any wood we start pulling out of the ocean is going to be wet so we need to dry it okay so seaweed covered rocks are all good as well so this is done i kind of planned this route wrong really because now we're going to come back over here let's move the town there i should have collected some of this wood really thinking of it so we're still classed as very light It would be nice to maybe have some fishing access on the main um, on the main township. That would be good, just because of uh, early early game. You don't have any. Where are we to up here? We don't have any fishing boats, so yeah. If you could, I don't know, maybe do that. Right. So overgrown wooden ship. We'll send the guys out over there, and we'll get them to come in collect all this plastic as well when the night is ended so at night they they don't tend to do anything um they obviously sleep and rest and we could do with making beds what do we need for beds we need wooden planks so let's get some wooden planks on the go we can at least make these guys some beds so maybe here uh who's it mac macod is currently hand cranking the uh the boat to give us some more power it used to be a case of oil so you'd collect the plastic and convert the plastic into oil and then the oil would power the ship um but that's all kind of changed in the in the latest electric electric update uh so the guys are swimming out collecting the plastic and we're also Collecting. so we got metal scraps there and some more dry wood which is good so we can cab around and see everybody he's just constantly cranking that see the fish are there just be so good to drop your rod in so they've also added shadow as well to the in the latest update which was something um myself and one of the guys who drops into the stream noticed straight away and it, it's made a big difference just to the aesthetics and some of the color changes as well collecting we've got a fair bit of plastic on board i think 
Yeah, 40. Five planks. We may be able to build a bed now. Actually, what I'm going to do is build this out here. I kind of operate on, I like to have sleeping and eating one side and all the construction and whatever else on the other side. And the good thing about this game as well, so if we were to actually think, I kind of operate on the thing of get all the main, uh, all the main um, buildings and everything up and running first. And then from there, um, get a good stand in so our water and our food level good. And then we'll sort of expand the township. But one thing with this game, if you were to then deconstruct this wood woodworking shed, for instance, um, you don't. There's no penalty for deconstructing and reconstructing it, which is good. So you can deconstruct and reconstruct as many times as you like, or at least that's what it was on the last update. That I haven't tested that out in this one yet. So day one reports available. I'm guessing yeah right so now we can build our beds no we can't now because we are flat out of floaters so we'll get some of those on good thing we have an abundance of plastic right now let's just check the map where we're going to go next i think the best thing to do is come around to the viaduct and then from the viaduct work our way around yeah try and stay Small little movements to start with. Maximize our potential. Okay, so that's all the plastic done. We can now craft a bed. There we go. One bed there. One bed there. And one bed there. Uh, what do we need for the desalination plant? Okay, so we're going to... Do this get some planks on the go because we need water thankfully it used to operate on one unit a day so each survivor would take one unit of water a day it kind of made it a little bit easier to manage um and this is not a type of game that really punishes you hard uh for your survivors missing food or water so yeah it's uh does real well so the beds are all done. Yeah, we'll wait until we've got our desalination tank up. We're missing items. We need more wood. Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough wood. Okay, so we're going to have to move on anyway. Um, if we kind of move over to here. I like to try and keep as much in that circle so we maximize our All right so this gives us scrap electric of six cent nice i'm still kind of new to the whole electric uh, phase we did stream it like i said um a couple of days back when the when the update first came out and um yeah i loved it straight away really like in the new update so this is kind of the first in depth we'll send the guys out there as well to swim enlarge yep once this is done see our guys hand cranking away i love the alarms are going off on the cars as well <laughs> Somebody turn off that alarm. Why didn't you just walk to the end and whoop? Oh, so we're basically robbing all the cars. Brilliant, so we're back up to full energy now. Um, yeah, I think we'll next do a smaller move. We could even just do that and still be able to collect all the plastic. Um, I'm not sure what that island is. You used to be able to see, yeah, you kind of. 
can a little bit there. What are you doing, matey? We've run out of storage space, that's what. Um, silly me, right, we'll build another one right there. Maximize our storage. Get it up and running. Okay, so that's that done. Now they should go out and pick up the rest of that plastic. Need some more wood, need that wood. This still hasn't been cleared either. Right, so that's done. I think we're going to move to the... He uses 1400. Oh, this is actually quite a good area. So we can spend a bit of time here. Uh, go and get that as a matter of urgency. We still got... We need to sort out something to eat as well. So food-wise, we need rope. So we need to craft... Okay, so we're going to need the rope crafter and the desalinated up next. I think food's probably more important right now, though. Let's see how many planks we can get built first, though. Uh, get a few more floaters ready. Get a couple more planks on the go. Which will be good, good, good. Right there. Have we cleared this out yet? Nope, really. Get a couple more planks, get them stacked up ready. Get a couple more of them on. Okay, so... Kind of think maybe move to there. Yeah, we'll do that. We can hit the seaweed covered rocks. We've got wood. Yeah. Sounds like a good plan, guys. A good plan indeed. Um, that's where we've just hit. Yeah. Seaweed covered rocks. Salvage those. Where's the wood? The wood's over here. Enlarge. There's a bit of everything there, which will come in extremely handy for us. And the seaweed covered rocks. They okay, do have the desalinator available. Yeah, I think we'll build that. Pop the desalinator there. What do we need then for the food truck? Oh yeah, we need one more plank. So we need the rope. We can build the rope crafter there. We've got a fair bit of... Um, a fair bit of seaweed on board, so we should be okay to craft the ropes. Ah... Uh. It's amazing artwork. It's really good. I, I do like the art on this uh on this game. Come on, we need that wood. Oh yeah, we're out of food now, so we need to get this, get that, then we can craft the chop shop, so at least we can make a seaweed salad. There we go, things are coming along nicely. And we are also then going to need to create a bit of firewood. Can we craft another wood dryer? We can indeed. We need to start drying this wood ASAP. So having the second wood dryer will help. There we go. Brilliant. So that's on drying. I was wondering where they were going. I thought they were going back to bed. I was going to be like, yeah, having a laugh. You want to get up? So, yeah, they've gone over here to collect that. We can now craft... We'll craft two just to keep one in reserve. We need plenty of wood. Decent. No, we need... Lots of floaters. 
lots of floaters and wood planks. Hang on, we need to get rid of those. Wood planks, a couple more of them. And a firewood. We need the firewood for the desalinator to power that. So it's kind of important that we get the wood up. I think then we might travel to this area because I can see there's some wood there and some more seaweed covered rocks. And we've got a whole load of plastic here. What do we need to upgrade this? Upgrade removes. I don't know. I don't know right now. <laughs> right, do we have... We need wood planks. That is what we need. Big, 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 big time. How long do these take then? I thought it used to show the... Dry in times on there. Right, here we go. So we got two blocks, we got two planks, two to go. Two down, two to go, guys. Ding, ding, do, do, do. Uh, okay, they can't, they're not doing anything. And our storage is full again. We've got a lot of storage on the go. Um, we'll build another wood dryer as well. I built down the wrong place. That should have been down there. Um, none of these, I believe, take electric. No, they don't. Food, food, where's our food? Oh, we need a couple more floaters. Because we just used them all. And we need one more, one more wood, and we will be awesome sauce. Come on, one more wood. Give me that wood. Give me that plank of wood. And we'll build the chop. The chop chop can come over here, actually. One more, one more to go. And there's the whale. Swimming around in the background. There we go. Now we can put the chop shop. I'm going to put it there because round chair is kind of dead space. So there it is perfect. Right, now we can uh, get that off and get some firewood on the go ASAP. For the desalinator. Then when the desalinator is up and going, we can then at least rock the uh right we can now get some food on a go chuck a whole load of that in there again this doesn't need no it doesn't need electricity shouldn't any hues okay so these are all empty the wood still hasn't been collected according to this is still wood about there's one little piece of wood right there that we can't get because it's outside our limit yeah, yeah, it's okay, guys. We got food. We got food. Trust me. Trust me. All right, let's go and collect all this. And then put some water on. Three units of water should be good. This is all being cooked up as well, which is nice. Our guys can finally eat. Which is amazing. And yeah. So what are we on? Day five. Day five at sea. And we finally get our chop chopper. Turning our dried seaweed into seaweed salad. Sorry, raw seaweed. Into seaweed salad. And now we can get our fresh water. Supply from our desalinator. And next thing we are going to move. Set sail. Ship ahoy. To this area there's some more rocks there's some more wood there's some more seaweed covered rocks so first things right go and get that stuff guys and then 
some more seaweed for us. And wow, there's a whole load of wood there. Hey. What? Enlarge. Go and collect all that wood. Edward Woodward. A nice. So we got one unit. We got seven units of food now and one unit of water. Surprising just from the chop shop how quickly we can recoup the lack of food. Right, so what are our building options next? We've got the road craft, we've got the woodworking shed, we've got the plastic recycler, so the scrap metal smith is going to be next. We need a couple more plastic floaters on the go. We've got that, we've got that. Um, watchtower. Ooh, research station is also something we're going to need. Okay. So, we're doing well now on the old food front. Uh, we just need to bulk up our water supplies, and uh, then we'll be good. So yeah, for anybody new tuning in, this is Flotsam, the uh, city builder slash survival game at sea. The backstory is uh, that the world's flooded. You are now living on board the SS odd ship and um we've got to find supplies from the the floating plastic and wood and whatever else we can salvage to recycle into our new home as we sail around this flooded land that we now call home so how's our wood looking 30 we, we're now stacking up nicely on the on the wet wood what's over here oh we got some dry wood there as well so that'll be that's giving us a real boost on the wood front because we need some firewood we need those we can actually craft this why can't it's a shame why can't i rotate that uh let's pop it there i know why why can't I rotate this? So we'll build our scrap smith and then that's kind of all the workshops that we need at the moment. See, I've got two storage units here and one storage unit there. Don't like that. Um, okay. Our wood is now starting to increase. We can get that, we can get a bit more water now on the go because our firewood yes it's coming along nicely so i'm going to create a few new planks for our research station what is it we needed for that so we need some more look as our plastic is now running pretty excuse me pretty low and we also need to build another storage container Ooh. Okay, okay, that's all right though. We we've, we've got we've got this, guys. We've got this under control. Come on. Okay, so they've woken up. Let's have a look at the day five report. Crafted three things, consumed three things of water, consumed and crafted. Daily gain zero. Eleven daily gains on food, and half a daily gain on energy. Um. Our water should start to come back now, though. We'll chuck a few more uh, requirements on the food. Actually, no, we won't. We'll just leave that at one. Plastic's being used up now. Yep. We're one water. And then we'll put a few more uh, of those on there. And we should be hunky-dory. Do we have anything else that we can salvage from around this area? I believe not. There is some plastic over there. Oh, we still haven't finished uh, clearing the, the wooden overgrown ship. But we have water now. 
guys are swimming over there to go and rescue all that. Um, yeah, we're low on plastic. And we need another one of these. Yep. Um, once we've cleared this, I feel like we should... Uh, come over to here, maybe collect all these resources, or maybe come up here. Yeah, we'll 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 set sail for this area. Just to try and capture more plastic resource. Um, there we go. This is the last bit of metal coming out of there. Yeah, we need firewood then. Does this? No, it doesn't. Right, so we've got that. We'll wait for the last survivor to swim aboard, and then we will set sail. But yeah, using 2,500 of our energy, and we are <clears throat> currently now still classed as light. Not as light, not very light as we were earlier. Enlarge, go and get that. Uh over here enlarge and go and rescue all of that as well <clears throat> water is now seeming to be a little bit more under control three units of water so tomorrow means that everybody gets a drink everybody because i'm a kind ruler <laughs> and food we're doing okay on as well um we want a little bit more of that, and a lot more of that. Put a few more of those on. Okay, so once we get the research center up, I'm not really going to worry about a watchtower right now. We've got that, got that, got that, and that. The research center, I think I'm going to put here. And if I remember rightly, there's... We should be able to put a pole there and it'll reach, I hope. I think it's somewhere around here, the... Uh, the electrical point is. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I'm just guessing now. Right. Research center. Where is it? One more plank. Oh, we still need some more floaters. Put a few more onto them, and we need one more plank. Day six. Let's have a look what we did on day six. Uh, we ate three and only crafted one, but we've got nine nine units of food there. So I don't really want to craft a whole lot of food and just have it sat there. Not right now, anyway. We've got four units of water. So we'll just maybe put two more on there. Um, let's check out the map. Once we retrieve all these, all this plastic. Uh, where do we go? I think maybe we'll just start edging north. There we go, guys are up. Drank their water, eating their food. We will... One, two, three. Four, five, six. There we go. So we got four days supply of food roughly uh then chilling out there which will be good 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 right uh we've got a fair bit of wood on board now and we can craft the research center where do we pop that Let's put it there. And I hope we've got enough room for the electrical pole. What do we need for that? We need some more planks. So, planks are done here. 
And of course, right now, everybody's out collecting all the plastic, so, um... Yeah, that's why they're not... Look at all these fish. We'll have a boat soon enough, guys, and you can go and fish. And you won't have to swim to go and collect salvage. You can sail your boat. That's that done. Okay, so they're now working on the research center. Sushi Puddle. Good name. Research center is done. What do we need in for this? One more plank of wood. Yeah, so we then have to power that. And we need this plank of wood and sharpish. Drying racks are still busy drying. Drying out all that wood for us. Wet wood. Ah, there we go. Starting to dry out now. And I think... Do we have... No, we don't. Woodworking shed. Um... Yeah, I guess it's got to go there. And... From there to there. And from there to there. There we go. Yes. We got that in the end. Right, what can we do with the research panel? Research panel? Right. So we can build a bigger house to unlock that. We need eight plastic floaters. Walkway, I'm going to go with large storage area. We need eight, so we're going to unlock that. Why large storage area? It then frees up a bit more room. We got the oil refinery. Um, you sound like there's the solar still. I really like the solar still, but for me, I don't know if it, the times have changed. For me, it just took a little bit too long. Um, seaweed grower. That's also something else we're going to unlock because that's free food. Then we're going to go... Look at that. Fishing boat. The manual generator. These are the things now that I've not used. So you get the manual generator, the solar panel. Uh, what are they? Solar panel. Oh, right. Okay. Battery holders. The wood generator. This can burn wood to generate energy. The oil generator and the solar panels. I imagine the solar panels are kind of end game. Sort of. Um, research items. Because what do we have? We only have. Oh, I've just noticed we don't have the electrical waste or electrical scrap items across the top. Um, yeah, we need to get some more firewood on. Hey, guys. Firewood. Uh, let's get some plastic floaters knocked up as well. Uh, rope. We'll get a couple of rope on. We're doing good on food now. So... We were going to creep our way north, wasn't we? Let's do this. All aboard! Off we go. We might work our way back around, circle around to here. Try and collect this wood. Right, we're going to need to move. Here we go. Just in range, look. Where's this wood? Send the guys out here. Enlarge, enlarge. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so we're short on power because we're using power to power this. 
we've also used a large chunk of it to set sail. Nice. I am liking this update. Liking it a lot. And the funny thing is, I was only before this update was rolled out. The day it was rolled out, I was only thinking, haven't seen any new updates or releases to do with the game. And then bang that night. This little baby came out. So how's our... Taking a little bit of time. Okay. Yeah, we're low on power there because... This is just using it all. Hey, maybe we'll... Turn that off for the time being. While we generate a little bit more energy research yeah i know it's uh turned off let's turn it back on now should help a little bit Okay, yeah, that's working nicely now. And we've got a fair bit of wood on board. Not a great deal of water though, so let's get that up and running. Food's looking good. Right, let's go and collect this plastic now then. Send them all, enlarge it. And away we go. So we not covered a great area of the map. We've left a lot of plastic untouched too. There's a little bit of wood there. But I feel what we'll do once we've recharged the batteries, we'll sort of swing around this way. Hey Judah, how's it going buddy? Good to see you. Oh, we're running low. We will have to turn the research center off for the time being. While we... Yeah, I'm doing very good. Liking the new uh, the new patch. You guys have done a, a brilliant job. But uh, yeah, I'm doing very, very good. So we've still got 13 wood day. To go... That's doing well on water. Oh, no worries at all. Yeah, if it is, it's early access, hey. But no, it is... I feel it's changed the game a lot. Um, definitely made things a lot more interesting you've got to think a lot more about the game um so yeah it's brilliant brilliant job like in the new graphical tweaks as well does make a big difference oh i thought that was outside the ring um yeah it's made a big difference so our guys have gone to bed we could have done with generating a little bit more water there than what we've done shadows on the water yes and the I feel like the colours, the saturation on the colours is slightly changed. But yeah, it's uh, it's looking good. And I like the whole um, electricity concept as well. Where, like for instance, we got the research centre on and it's just draining all our power because we've travelled so far. Um, but this is still early game for us we're on day nine as per usual started a new game for the stream so day nine once we fill the line up we'll be good to go but yes the game's definitely coming along is uh the research i like the fact that the research center now takes plastic as opposed to the books but um i've not got to any path yet that needs books i don't think no but yeah i like that it now only takes plastic rather than the larger you know the books which are kind of tricky to find sometimes yeah all in time all in time yeah i think it does feel a little bit better um because the books could be a little bit tricky to find so yeah they would hold you back and slow progression down but I feel with the the weight 
dynamic now added and the electricity dynamic added it's um it's changed the the whole flow of the game completely and it's it's brilliant this guys are doing a brilliant job with it we are out of space that's what that's what the problem is right so let's get that switched back on so we can build a larger uh storage space i was wondering what was going on We'll... What do we need then to construct the... I don't even think we've got the... Ah, oh, yeah, we do. We do. No, we don't. Ah, what do we need? More plastic... Scrap metal. All right. One, two, three. Okay, we're going to use some of our... Supplies. Actually... No, no, no. Not that. Last, uh, planks. Nice. And rope. Obviously, we need it. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> the, only, it's not, the only thing I would like to see is the amount of fish. If there was a way to early game catching the fish, uh, the schools of fish that you see around like this, whether or not you could sail the, ho the township up to here and catch it, I don't know. That's just me. Um, because in this, at the start of this game, at the start of this game, we've gone past one, two, three. Uh, was it more? I think there might have even been more schools of fish, and obviously not having the fishing boat. Just uh, throwing it out there as an idea, of course not. So we still. We need firewood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like right now it's, it's no problem with it. Um, but it's the thing of... For me, like I said, I had... There was a couple of areas where... I want to take a look at it. Fair enough. Yeah, like I said, it's... Doesn't happen overnight. I appreciate that. Definitely can appreciate the work that you guys are putting in. It's, it's not an easy thing to do. Tip my hat to all, all you guys. If I had a hat on right now, of course. But yeah. You guys are... Doing amazing. Right, what do we need left on this? The planks, we still need... Yeah, we don't have enough metal to craft one of those. Just gonna have to build a small one. Oh well. That was a waste of a research. I'm gonna have to go and find some more. Um... Oh, I appreciate the work you guys are putting in. Like I said, I, I don't know if you picked up, but um, I was only thinking beforehand, the day the patch was released, about how uh, things have gone a little bit quiet with updates, and then that day, that evening, this uh, this rolled out. So we downloaded it while we were actually streaming and jumped straight onto it. But uh, yeah, I can appreciate with the the current situation the whole world is in as well. Can't be, cannot be easy. Right, we're gonna need to head there. That is our next port to call. We're ooh, very low on water. Shoot. I oh, know we actually do have a lot of metal. We just have an incredibly slow. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for dropping by. We don't need to. Yeah, that's all right. Thanks for dropping by and uh, speak to you soon, hopefully. Right. Yeah, that's okay. We got the water going. We got food. Uh, we need to get a couple more foods on. And we're out to see. Shoot. Is that why we haven't got any rope being built? Yeah, catch you. And thank you for dropping by. It's always good to see you guys. Right. We want to get up there. I 
Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, we'll set sail to here. Yeah, let's move it. Set sail all aboard. Yada yada. Where's that last piece of wood? I thought there was some wood around here. Maybe not. Right, let's um, get the guys to go and salvage that. Which would be brilliant. Exactly what we need. So, what have we got? We've got generators, electrical scraps, and dry wood. Not dry wood. Which is right on the back of the... Oh, there. That one lowly piece of wood. Sorry. Two lowly pieces of wood. Every little helps, though. As, uh... Right, let's then... Do we go bigger house? What do we have for food? Oh, seaweed garden, seaweed garden, seaweed garden. Where's the seaweed garden? Uh, seaweed grower. Ah, crap. We need um. Let's unlock that. We're gonna need to find some seaweed covered rocks. Ah, oh, pretty urgently. If I'm honest. Pretty quickly. We need those. Right. That's now empty, which is nice. We've got plenty of plastic on board ship. So... Maybe we'll do that. Ah, oh, we're not really finding anything, guys. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh. Just a polluted wood. Salvage that. We're going to get a lot of firewood on the go now. Uh, get a lot of firewood on the go so we can get some water stocks up. Because we've literally only got a day's... Ah, okay, okay, okay. So some seaweed covered rocks... Dead ahead. So I'm guessing somewhere around there, maybe. It's going to be tough, guys. But saying that, actually. Um, yeah, no, I think we'll be okay. Right, let's turn this off. So we're not using as much power there. Turn that off. Um, they're going to create the wood. Yeah, so we're out of food there. Firewood's been created. Scrap metal. Ooh, actually, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. We can do it, guys. We can do it. We can actually build it. Because we have... Ah, oh, shoot. No, we need more metal. One, two. We've got three pieces of rope there built, because I built excess. It's going to be tight. It is going to be very tight and very tricky. 
on how close uh, how close we get this now. I'm not gonna not gonna lie. Come on. They're kind of fighting against each other. Is it done? Oh, yeah. Brilliant. So we need those two. There we go. Nice. These are always huge. We'll pop it there. Fingers crossed we do have the seaweed spores because I don't believe... We've used the seaweed spores only. I think we've only eaten the seaweed. And I think on the seaweed covered rocks, we get seaweed spores as well, which is where you plant in the seaweed grower or the seaweed garden, as I call it. And um, yeah, we should be A1. I hope. I hope. Please. Our water's up now, anyway. Our water's at a good point. Um. We're going to chuck on a little bit more firewood. It's nearly done. It's nearly done, look. There we go. Oh, we don't have any... Shoot. Right, okay then. Did we pull all our wood from there? No, we haven't. Right, now they should go in. Yep, there we go. Once we've collected the wood, we're going to head in this direction. And hopefully get to those, uh, to those seaweed covered rocks for food. The main thing is we have a nice supply of water. Excuse me, all right. Let's head this way. Oh. Let's move the town to there. Oh, look at all this seaweed. Right. So, first things first. Swimmers, at your ready. Go. And then, so this has, oh, this has canned food on here as well. Nice. Salvage that. Do we have any more resources around here? That's outside. Marker fully salvaged. So now. Ah, look, we did, we did have seaweed spores. Ah, Ace, look at all this food now that's been cooked up. Nice. We're gonna live. We're gonna live, guys. Oh. Yep, it's okay. We should have food. Here we go. Raw seaweed. Yeah, I thought we had spores as well, but... Good thing is we managed to get all that. Then the guys will head here, and then we will... Hit up this area here. Sail the boat possibly there. Seaweed covers rock. Seaweed... Seaweed covered rocks will have spores on them so so yeah we'll be we'll be a-okay this guy here look is going like a madman like a madman creating those seaweed seaweed salads for everybody um firewood we're okay on firewood let's create a couple of planks 
plastic floaters. Let's just create a couple of those. Scrapsmith. Let's just create a couple of those as well. Just like that. So now we can get the the rope. We can actually craft some boats. Fishing boats. So maybe we should do that next. I don't know. We'll, we'll just quickly see how this pans out now. Research center. So to start off with, we need to do... What does this need? See, we could maybe... Increase energy storage. I'm a generator firing whenever I can. But we need to do a mooring point at the end of the day. We need a mooring point for the boats. So we'll craft a more or put on a more mooring point. Oh, this would they? There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Get that up and running. Hey, buddy, how's it going? How are you doing? Have we not even touched this yet? Because we're too busy on the boat. Our food and water is now looking pretty good. We just need to get those uh, seaweed spores to uh, craft up some more stuff. We're still light. We're... 100% grid efficiency. Ah, no, I didn't want to do that. I was wondering what he was doing. Food's good. Water's good. We are now starting to pick all that, pick all this. Nice. We're in a good situation, guys. Cannot fault it at all. Um, so, yeah, it's just these two areas to go. Marker has been fully salvaged. That's the wood, yes. How's our boat? Is our boat ready yet? Research panel. We do. I want to go fishing boat. Unlock because right now the fishing boat for us is kind of going to be pretty important. We need our food. Um, I know we have the um, seaweed grower, but I would like to at least uh, get a fishing boat sorted. Actually, oh, we don't have the fish sticks anymore. So there used to be a fish stick rack where you could dry the fish on. And we are out of storage space. Three there. Let's put a bit of that on to try and use up some of our resources. But, yeah, we don't have the fish sticks anymore. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, have we cleared this shack town yet? Nearly, we've just got the food. Only the most important things on there, you know. The seaweed grower is going flat out as well. And we're currently using up some of those resources. So let's go here. Uh, boat. So what I'm going to do is this. Kind of to there. 
and then we're gonna make a t-bar on the end of it maybe and um make that our, our mooring points if you like but we need a lot more of these so we'll get them on the go plastics now becoming in a very high demand for us as well so we're gonna need to uh get some plastic built or salvaged i should say How is this looking? All good, all good. But uh, I'd just like to say welcome uh, to everyone in chat. Hope you're having a good, uh, good Thursday. For anybody interested, we are playing uh, Flotsam, uh, survival slash um, town builder. Let's see. Oh, we need rope now. One, two, three, four. Once we've got that all sorted, we can move on. The food's kind of the most important thing from this island. And we seem to be taking our time in, uh, in collecting it. So yeah, that is not too good. I preferred to him to have picked the, uh, picked the food first, but... You can't really do that. Could actually build another walkway there, boxing this in. And then, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, the fishing boat is still going, is it? Is the fishing boat going? I don't know. Yeah, it's still going. Ah, it's because we don't have... Yeah, we do, yeah, we do, yeah, we do. Yes, we do. Okay, have we collected this? Nope. Here's all of our guys. Uh, kind of a little bit busy. I've got them all doing too much. This is where now having more survivors on board ships. And the survivors, um, scavengers, whatever you want to call them, uh, helps. Um, many hands make light work and all that sort of thing and now as our ship is growing we're now needing uh, a lot more people to kind of sustain and help out and do all those things so we're on day 13 so far we kind of got our food and our water a little bit more under control right we can build our mooring points now but Ah, no, don't tell me I can't. Yes, we can. We can do that. Then I can put my mooring point. There. That'll be our first mooring point. Have we picked up all this food yet? Yeah, we have. Okay, right. Finally. Finally. We can then move the boat. Uh, we'll wait until we've got a little bit more power going, I think. Um, because we have our research center going, that's draining the power. So as the guys are cranking it up here, it's kind of going down at the same time because the research center is using that power as well. And we're now at medium weight. We're getting thick, boys. We are getting thick. So how is the fishing boat? Fishing boat's looking good. What do we then need? So we've... We need some planks. Some planks. And some more firewood. Undo that. Because... If we're sensible here now, we could possibly catch these fish before we move on which will boost our food even further the seaweed seems to be going well 
do that. Yeah, it looks like we are possibly out to seaweed. But when we get a fishing boat up and running, the fishing boat's nearly done. We will be pretty much self-sufficient then. We'll build another mooring point and we'll have one scavenger boat so we can scavenge a little bit further. And we'll have the fishing boat so the fishing boat can then catch us food. Um, later on... Uh, ooh, that. Research panel. Research panel. Um, where is it? Food. The fishing hut is brilliant. Right, so we can pop our fishing boat there. Any suggestions from chat what we should call our first fishing boat? I think maybe Moby, as in Moby Dick. I don't know. Right, let's... As soon as that's built... So yeah, you can see now the generator's being cranked hard for us. Um, we'll go and catch these fish as soon as our fishing boat is done. Everything's looking hunky-dory here. Let's put a little bit more firewood on. And yeah, then we'll send... There we go, fishing boat. So we just do this. Go and collect all those fish there. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Enlarge. Right, go. When they finish their job next, someone should... Jump in Thirsty thirsty Sally. Thirsty Sally is the name of our boat, our fishing boat. They'll jump in. There we go, look. And... Oh, oh no. There we go. Watch all these big fish come in. Oh, they've resized the fish. The fish used to be huge in comparison to the boat. Ah, but it's got a little eyes on the boat. The boat's got a little face, a like boaty muck boat face. Thirsty Sally. There she goes. Catching us some food. Nice. So. That works out. Oh, where are we to? rather spiffingly for us um can we build the larger storage unit now no because we now need that wood right let's move the boat up to here go and collect all this seaweed again it's free food and we've got some um, we may well be able to enlarge. We may well be able to send the fishing boat out. Ah, no. It's too far. Right, let's try and build. We need another rope. One more rope. We don't have no seaweed. Of course we don't. One more rope. And, um... Yeah, we should be... Okay. Um... Yep, there you go. Collect all that seaweed up. Nice. Then we can get one rope on. We can actually do this as well then. Change some of that fish into food. Uh, what does this do? Manage. Oh yeah. You can um, like designate who you want to do what. I prefer just to click and say go and do that for me. Um, rather than selecting and sending people here there and everywhere something i just find personally a little bit easier
Right, so that's our... Oh, it's beard chowder. No, we don't want beard chowder. I thought... Back nugget. That was rather silly of me. Oh, can we power this? Oh, okay. Yeah, we can. But what does that allow us to do? I suppose maybe link off there. Uh, no. Let me go to that. I guess not. Um, right, what do we need? We need some more planks. Give us some planks, guys. One, two, three planks. One, two, three firewood. Some more planks. A couple more metal. And... We then need to research salvage boat. Uh, we could also... Oh, we're out of plastic. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That is not good. Not good at all, guys. I can remember. Uh, right. Matey there generating the power for us. Let's jump to the map. Where do we go next then? We're literally going to have to just sort of... Oh yeah, hang on. There was some fish somewhere up here. Yes, we can. So, the fishing boat's off. Oh, we've got plastic here, though. Enlarge the plastic. Uh, click a few water supplies on. How is this looking? We can now craft our second mooring point. And we can then build our... What do we need for this? Nothing. We, we're good to go. Good, good, good. So as soon as the mooring point is built, we can build our salvage boat. So that means we've got our fishing boat and our salvage boat, which puts us in a good position. Good position to... We don't have to swim. Swim anyway, we can just send the salvage boat out. So... Day, th day 15. Day 15, we've been playing for... Um, hour and 20 minutes. That is looking good. Okay, so they're all in bed now. I think the next research should be a bed. The bigger houses, I think, because we can get rid of all the beds and then just build one house. We'll need to wait until we got a few more floaters for that. Ooh, we haven't been keeping an eye on our water. Oops. Uh, some firewood. Get that going. And then we build straight into our salvage boat. Yoink there. The salvage boat we can then use to send off and collect the seaweed from the rocks here. Which will be even better for us. Yes. Oh, and those fish there. There was some fish back here. Were they not? Yes, here we go. We can go and collect those fish as well. So we are going to need to actually... Uh, food... Create the fish kebab then. 
For me, the food truck's worth it. We need 14 floaters and we have hardly any plastic on the go. So let's get those floaters going and uh, get them into it. The salvage boat is now good, so we can do... Hang on, can we do that? Really? We didn't need the boat. This gives us 14 seaweed spears, spears, spores, and... Ah! Oh, do you know what? I, I've ne I don't know if that's a new thing. You can actually click on things that you don't want them to play. So we will cancel that and send them in the boat. Fishing marker fully gathered. Okay, so research panel. Let's just go fish kebab because we really need to hook this fish up. We've got way too much in uh, in our storage containers, uh, which is not getting used. So we'll hook it up and uh, chow down on it. So, yeah. We got a guy cranking away because the fish kebab is being researched, is it? Who knows? Hello. Hello, there's all the fish luck. Nice, lots of fish. You can see now all the islands off in the distance look. There's a lot of islands. Wrecked car on rocks. Oh, what's that? I mean, like, see what this is? Yeah, see, like, now we are in the uh, in the medium medium mark, and we don't really have a huge amount of stuff. Fish kebab is being researched as we talk, as we speak. Water is on as well. Let's create a couple more metals. Create a couple more of those. And yeah, a couple more planks as well. Yep, there goes the fish kebab. Which is exactly what we need because we've got a lot of fish. Early game uh, or before the update, you used to be able to uh, dry the fish. And uh, yeah, you'd have dried fish, but I'm guessing that's kind of been done away with now. So at least we've got some water. Um, on there, brilliant. Not all drifters got water. Why didn't he come back and drink some when we got some more then? Because not all drifters are going to get water tomorrow now either. Because we've only got two units of water there. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting, Mr. Bond. So yeah, we were going to go for the... Um, the house research point next. But we need to go for the fish kebab. Give us more more food options ultimately i just hope we haven't wasted too much fish on these um on the bird what's it the bird chow so what do we need for the Fish kebab, four panels, three metal. Okay, so actually we can turn that one off. The wood, oh, we need the wooden panels. So, uh, wooden planks even, sorry, not panels. We need to keep them going. Um, and we still have not touched the seaweed rocks. Okay, uh, 
maybe you know we need we need the water the water is important right now okay so we don't need any more of that wooden planks or wood right now he is currently researching I'm thinking we turn that off for the time being till they go and get this Yeah, there we go. Right, they've set sail. Nice. Which is what we wanted. Uh, to do with some more seaweed. The Gardens Bay. We'll swim through here. Collect all that. Should all fit. Oh, two runs. Okay. Can we do this? No, we can't. Click on it and do a swim. No, we can't do two. It's going to try and be a bit sneaky then, guys, and send... Uh, Send them out swimming. And uh, using the boat. Uh, there goes the boat. Right, now we can turn this back on. Straight away he's going to be cranking that. Over to here. Right, so we've got enough food for everybody and water for everybody tomorrow. That's the big thing. In comes the salvage boat. Nice. And we've got lots of seaweed on board now. This is all going to grow. Storage containers aren't too full. Put some of those on. Put some firewood on. Actually, what do we need here? For the good old fish kebab. Four planks, three metal, and six floaters. Nice. So we've got everything there. The fish kebab will pop here. Passive. Produce, I consider that. Hmm, okay. Can we upgrade this? We can. What else can we upgrade? No, we can't upgrade that. I bet that's used some of our planks now. Yes, it has. Right, let's get our planks going. How's the old fish kebab looking? Nearly done. Nearly done. We've nearly got our fish kebab up and running, guys. Fish kebab. Right, now we can build. No, we can't. Yeah, we can. Here we go. Fish kebab and seaweed grower and our seaweed uh, chop shop is all in one spot, which is good. And we're back light again now. The high end of light, but we're light. And that is the end of the day. Day 17. Brilliant. Day 17, we'll get our fish kebab up and running. And uh, that'll be a good a good 18-day stint on Flotsam. So the seaweed's growing fine. Water's gone. We could do one, two, three of that. And then when the... Yeah, look, we are out of wood now. So we are going to need to move the uh, move the township, but I'm not sure what the fish kebab requires power wise. Um, this is the first time I've built one in this uh, this stage of the game. Does it require power? Fish kebab. There we go. Firewood. We need firewood for it. Right. Let's um set sail over there. Oh, 
over today. That's just my kids getting in from school. And right then. We will send the salvaging ship out. Enlarge that. Off you go. We'll get that wood in. And that should be good to go. Can we send? No, that's slightly too far. What are we what are we unloading from the sap from the Oh I think that might have been the rest of the seaweed. I think that's what that was. So they're gonna collect all the wood. We'll get the wood dry in. And look at that, we've got our large dry in rack now. What are we upgrading research in there so yeah we got five wet wood we got some planks but we need firewood let's get rid of that firewood is what we need cook the fish up so we can eat it makes sense doesn't it Good thing is with a larger rack now though we can at least try three pieces of wood instead of one piece at a time uh there we go bang they're all dry so the firewood should now start coming through should 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 uh yeah we've got one dry wood we've got zero firewood at the moment because it's going to the metal plate shop. More seaweed, so we could create some more seaweed salad. Create some more seaweed salad. Bing bang bosh. Come on, come on. Right. There we go. So fish nibbles or nibble fish as I should say so here we go look at that baby go can't wait to try that looks a little bit more appetizing than dried fish as we had um, as we read in the last update anyway <laughs> Uh, put some demand on there for water. And that is looking good. So we're coming to the end of day 18 now. We're still collecting the last of the wood. Four last pieces there. Um, we got some wood there and some seaweed there. And that is a good day. Day 18 report. So, zero gains, zero gains, and we gained a lot of energy. Okay, so, we're going to pause it there, guys. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, I do stream Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. So, uh, feel free to hit the follow button. Um, this has been taken from my stream live. So, if you are watching this on YouTube, hop over to Oddball Plays on Twitch and uh, hit the follow button to see more Flotsam action. Until then, guys. See you again.